Hi friends, welcome to Azure ADF uh, video tutorials. This video I am going to give you few interview questions like frequently asked questions in interview and it's a topic wise I am going to give you few interview questions. It's a part one. So later I will give you advanced interview questions. This is a basic level. You need to explain and you need to understand what are the topics we are going to cover and what are the topics you, you will get a more questions related to Azure Data Factory. So first question is what is Azure Data Factory? So you need to explain what is Azure Data Factory? Why we are going to use Azure Data Factory? Because we have many uh, ETL tools available in industry. Instead of other tools, why we are going for Azure Data Factory? You need to give the, all the features. It's a cloud-based uh, data integration tool. So you need to explain all the features and it is supporting for all the sources and targets and it you can load the data from any sources any targets as well as cloud as well as on-premises data so you need to give all the features and you need to explain the process then difference between adf version 1 and version 2 and i have made one video on what are the major differences like what are the features added in version 2 adf version 2 and you need to give all the differences between ADF, previous version and current version. And uh, there are other questions related to because we need to use this uh, Azure uh, data lake and uh, blob storage for our storage purpose. So you need to give an overview on what is Azure uh, data lake and how we are storing in Azure. And what is a blob storage and how we are storing and how we are going to use and what are the benefits you will be getting if you use a blob storage. So you need to explain what is IDLS as well as blob storage. So you will be getting these questions. And regarding blob storage, there's a version 2 is available. There's a IDLS version is a previous one and version 2 is available. That also you need to give the overview on and uh, on blob storage. And blob storage I get it to explain the snapshots and other storage types information like table queues okay then how does a data factory works so the process flow when you're talking about ADF you need to explain the process flow when you are loading the data from source to target how the process is working in Azure data factory that process flow you need to explain so I gave all those information in my previous sessions. You can go through all the sessions. You will get more clarity on that. On the key components, this architecture. So you need to explain what are the key components is available in Azure Data Factory, like pipelines, data sets, activities, and link services. This is the four key components which we are using in Data Factory. Okay, then how that relationship between how this uh, all the components works in azure data factory so you need to explain that relationship between all the uh, four key components like uh, pipeline activities data sets and link services so when you are explaining this all the components you need to give a basic some example when you are processing data from source to target and what are the things you need when you're talk, uh, working on uh, Azure Data Factory, like uh, you need a sources and you need a target servers, all the information when you want to connect the source connect uh, database or any uh, application. So you need to connect uh, using link services. So link services major job is connecting source and connecting target systems. So there you will provide all the connection information. And the data sets is a component where uh, it's like a table or you can say particular file you can as a data set and pipeline is a complete of a top level or a high level object where it will have a, all the activities like a multiple activities a copy activity or something this you can say all the components overview you need to give a, and those relationships okay and then hd insight when you're working in this Azure Data Factory, so you should know about what is HD Insight and what are the types of servers we are creating for your data transformation or storages in Azure, like a Spark Cluster or Hive Cluster or other 
clusters so hd insight clusters you need to know and you need to explain an overview on this hd insight and the individual components like you will get a question like what is link services why we are using this okay you need to give a complete overview so when you are connecting sources or target systems like on premises or any database or any plant files or any other applications you need uh, you need all the connection information right that connection information will store here using this link services we will connect to all the source and target systems and integration runtime this is a major part in azure uh, etl tool where uh, the process process uh, all this server level process and uh, types of runtime integration irs are available like uh, default azure or on premises or ssis integration this is the three types of uh, irs are available in integration runtimes this is you need to explain overview and you need to give an example on this and what is the limit of number of integration runtime there is no limit actually based on usage you can use is as there is no limit on this and what is the trigger and how to schedule a pipeline so the trigger concept is there in version 2 and previous version we are not calling as a trigger but a current version like version 2 adia version 2 we are calling as a trigger it's nothing but whenever if you want to run this particular pipeline based on your requirement if you want to run daily or if you want to run weekly or monthly particular schedule you can use you can go for creating a trigger okay that's the concept of trigger the trigger can be used for scheduling your pipeline and you can create multiple triggers on your pipeline that's a major feature in version 2 then what is control flow so you need to give overview on control flow in uh, adf pipelines on the how it works and you need to give an example on control flow then whenever you are running your pipelines then if you want to pass some parameters so pass some values so you, how to pass parameters to in a pipeline so you need to give a example and whenever you are creating a pipeline there uh, you can create a parameters and you can pass the values thus for uh, runtime if you want to use the values you can use this parameters at pipeline level then how to define a default values in parameters so you can you can pass the default values in parameters so that option is available then is a self hosted integration runtime available for data flows so this data flow is another feature is a wizard based uh, uh, copying data from source to target but this so directly you cannot cop you cannot use a data flow for on premises to cloud so this data flow work for cloud to cloud so for that what you need to do first you need to load the data from your self hosted on premises data to cloud some staging area using copy activity so the copy activity can be used for any integration runtime integration runtime so first activity what you will do using a copy activity you will select the data from source as on premises self hosted server and uh, it will copy into azure some staging layer from staging to your target servers you can use data flow only that option you can use because directly you cannot copy data from your on premises servers to cloud servers using data flow then so what is a delta flow so delta flow is main feature you can say that uh, if you want to do incremental load so this is basic thing any data warehousing project you should know and this feature is available in adf that you need to explain how it will works and when we will go for this data flow so this is the basic information we should know if you want to work in azure data factory and the basic level of interview questions you can expect in any of the interviews and i will make another video on uh, advanced level interview questions okay advanced level interview question and i have already covered all these topics related to data factory version 1 version 2 differences between version 1 and version 2 what is adls what is blob storage and uh, what is hd inside cluster and uh, what are the types you can create in azure 
link services and uh, runtime integration thus integration on times so types of integration on times and uh, components in data factory this all the videos I have individual videos available in my youtube channel so you can go through all the uh, your channels whatever topic you are selecting then you will get more clarity and you can you can explain any of the interview if you get any any of this interview question because this is the basic questions you can expect any interview if you are attending a azure data factory as a etl developer or administrator and i will make another video on advanced level advanced level interview questions like covering scenarios what are the scenarios and what are the frequently issues you can expect because this is this advanced level you will, you will get a more questions related to a developer like what are the frequent issues you can get and uh, how to schedule and how to monitor and uh, parallelizing so other features so i will explain in other videos so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates in my channel thank you very much